Whenever you hear trainers or people advocating fitness and resistance training, you always hear about getting jacked, getting a six pack, all that kind of stuff. However, from my personal experience, as well as seeing how it has changed my client's life experience, I feel the thing that needs to be talked about more is one topic that, because it's a little bit dark, most people stray away from when trying to sell you fitness, and that is using resistance training to help fight anxiety and depression. Here are five reasons why, if you are experiencing anxiety or depression, you should start resistance training. Other than my closest, closest friends and family, everyone that sees my portrayal on social media always sees this happy, crazy dude that likes to pick up heavy deadlifts, shout, scream, and be merry. However, I originally got into resistance training not to get jacked, not to get strong, but kind of because I was in a dark part of my life. And as a person that is a creative, I've got a lot of anxious thoughts and I'm not quite as mentally stable as a lot of people may think. But I have found that using resistance training as a grounding means to be the most beneficial thing I ever introduced into my life. Number one, the release of endorphins post-workout. Because your body's been through a bunch of stress, you'll find that when you get through a workout, boom, you're just gonna feel better. And this is a mechanism to calm the stress that you've just put yourself through because your body releases endorphins. So no one ever goes through a workout no matter how hard it is to start the workout and at the end of it goes, I really wish I hadn't done that workout. I guarantee you'll feel better. Number two, overcoming challenge. Now, the reason for a lot of circumstantial anxiety and circumstantial depression is due to factors in your life that are overwhelming, hard to control, and you're struggling to overcome them and you can feel a bit lost. However, 20 kgs is always 20 kgs. The gym offers a place in which you can problem solve, overcome challenge in a consistent manner. It's always there. You're not going to be deadlifting one day and suddenly 100 kgs without anybody telling you is suddenly 200 kgs and rather than anyone helping out, it just is and is now the problem. No, there is consistency in what you're able to do and you're able to set yourself tasks, see a way forwards, whether that's by yourself or by implementing a personal trainer and overcome it. It is challenge that promotes growth whilst being consistent enough for you to be able to handle it and therefore reap the rewards of getting shit done. Number three, it's all about changing the perspective of everything else. If you program yourself a grueling workout, say you do it in the morning and you get it done, it will be the hardest thing you do that day. Everything else will pale in comparison. Sure, there may be some long-term things that are overshadowing that are way more difficult than that workout. But however, to overcome large things, you gotta make small progress, step by step. So therefore, by having a grueling workout and feeling like you beat it, it being this hard part of your day, this being at times the shittiest part of your day, everything else becomes a lot more manageable. And this is vital in taking the steps, in fixing your situation, and just trying to eliminate anxiety, trying to eliminate depression. Everything else is going to seem manageable after this. So get it done. Number four, mental focus and clarity. You know that if you're anxious, you are depressed, you feel like there is a fog over all of your thoughts and you can't quite make your way through that fog and it's really holding you back. Through the use of exercise, it has been scientifically proven to stimulate the neurons in your brain to be firing more efficiently, essentially raising that fog. You'll walk around day to day more focused, more 
mentally energized in order to see your way out of problems, see your way out of your situation, and gain a new perspective on life. Number five, the superficial nature of it all. You're going to start building a bit of muscle, you're gonna start losing some fat, and you may look the best you've ever looked in your life. Well, how about this? That is way more important than most people are willing to put value in. If you feel like you look good, you are going to be able to be more confident and with more confidence comes with never second guessing your thought process. Being able to take your problems and look at them in a rational and observant manner in which you are able to break them down and really figure out a way to overcome them. Fix the body, the mind will follow. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And I think this is super important. You have consistent control of your body, so rather than doing something negative with it, that's where you get your body dysmorphia, such as anorexia, bulimia, all that kind of stuff. Do something positive for it. Take control of it, take it back. You only get one meat vessel that you get to travel this weird and wonderful world we live in. Take care of it. Now you're probably saying, Damien, not all depression and anxiety is circumstantial. I am aware of this. Sometimes your meddling brain chemistry gets in the way and manifests itself as depression and anxiety. And this really sucks because you can feel like you don't have control over it. I myself am quite aware of this. Um, however, implementing some sort of fitness, some sort of resistance training is still going to benefit you. Other than the kick of endorphins that's going to beat any SSRI on the market, um, the overcoming of challenges and the other steps that I have just listed, having something that you're in control of in your life that impacts it positively is going to do you wonders no matter what your situation is. Taking back control of something in this chaotic world by implementing a routine that you can rely on for these bursts of endorphins and to be constantly progressing and feeling better, overcoming challenge day by day is definitely going to do you positive. So like I said, it's not all about smashing PBs, lifting heavy deadlifts, all that kind of stuff that I sure as hell am into. I like to look after the mental sanity of my clients and I have seen some great things achieved by people in these situations. And also when it comes down to it, I'm a personal trainer second to just being a person. So if any of this has resonated with you and you want to talk to someone that comes from a place that understands what you're going through, can understand what a barrier exercise is, never hesitate to PM me. Whether you're my friend on Facebook or just a follower on Instagram or somehow this video has made it to you, just look me up, message to you, I promise you I will message you back and I can help you implement some steps in order to achieve this. So gonna keep this video nice and short hope you guys got something out of it if you feel like talking about anything either comment or DM me but otherwise keep making some gains uh. <laughs>